hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are making this authentic coconut jollof rice and grilled goat meat so guys stay tuned let's quickly dive in right into the video so in preparation of this coconut jollof rice this is a parboiled rice and this is the goat meat we are also going to use and also i have the coconut milk and coconut powder don't worry i am making this video with it and these are the different peppers i'm going to use for this jollof rice and this is my tomato paste i'm also going to use and here is the salt to test trust me you're definitely going to enjoy this coconut jollof rice and these are all the different spices i am using for this authentic jollof rice and this is my chopped onions so right now we're going to steam our goat meat so we add all the seasoning and steam it allow it to be well cooked and well soft for us to be able to enjoy so i'm adding the seasoning cube i'm also going to add some onions and i am also going to add some curry just as you can see then i'm also going to add some turmeric powder it depends on how you like to season your goat meat but this is a very good way for me because it makes my goat meat very tasty then i'm adding some nutmeg nutmeg gives the meat a very good taste makes it more delicious and some thyme then i have some dry pepper i'm also going to add just as you've seen in the video then i'm not going to forget my salt i've just added some salt so i'm just going to call add some water and cover the pot and allow it to steam until it is properly cooked so here is my oil i'm going to use for this jollof rice coconut jollof rice so firstly i'm going to wash all this pepper then i will blend them all together so yeah, uh, uh, bell pepper, uh, all the pepper you can think of. You can use any one of your choice. So I'm just going to make sure that it is properly blended. Then I will go ahead to use it. Now that our peppers are properly blended, we are going to go ahead to start our coconut jello fries. Coconut jello fries is really, really a delicious one. Like I made it once and trust me, i would always wanted to cook it for my family and yeah it's our goat's meat steaming very well it's actually steaming very well so i put a clean pot now on the cooker and i will put my oil i'm using olive oil you can use vegetable oil or any one of your choice so i'll just allow the oil to heat up then here is my onion i'll put it and fry it for at least one minute before i go ahead to add any other ingredients i'm just going to stir it so at this point i'm going to add our blended peppers the different peppers i use you can add more if you know of any other one apart from the one you saw in the video you can add so i've just added it then i will allow it to fry again don't worry i've got my sugar boy here with me i'm not doing this voiceover alone he's here so if you hear his noise on the background know that we are doing this video together so i am adding my tomato paste at this point then i'm going to stir and let it fry for a while for at least maybe two three minutes but make sure that you mix them properly so everything can combine so, at this point i'm ready to add all my spices curry thyme turmeric powder nut milk and so on and so forth add as many as you like and here is my seasoning cubes which i'm adding at this point then i've just added my aromat i don't know if you know aromat it's a very good spice at this point i'm adding salt so i'll carry on to state After stirring it and letting it cook for at least two three four minutes here yeah, I have washed the the blender with some water and I've just added the water to the pot so I'm just going to let it again 
fry for another one minute I come back to it and we are good to go so let's go back and see how far our stew or sauce is cooking yeah I think it's ready for us to use for our jollof coconut rice yeah so at this point I'm going to just go ahead to add the parboiled rice so I use basmati rice so after adding the parboiled rice I'm just going to stir and ensure they are properly mixed if you haven't tried this coconut jello rice before man you have to try it though this is really really nice so here is the coconut milk I'm using so just added the coconut milk this takes this rice to another level you know that kind of coconut rice that I went to Harvard this is one of them and came out with first class so after adding the the coconut milk I also have a coconut powder I'm also going to be adding to it I got this coconut powder from an African shop yeah so here is it like I said, this actually took it to another level. <laughs> if you're close by, don't forget to stop by and have a test of this. And I've just added salt as well. Continue to stir. At this point, I didn't add any liquid apart from the coconut milk and the sauce I use in making the rice the tomato sauce we prepared so i'm just going to cover it and let it cook but however before i do that i've got some foil this will retain the heat and make it cook on time instead of the pot burning so i've just used my foil to cover it before using the pot cover so we're quickly going to go back to uh goat meat here is it steaming very well so this goat meat is going to be roasted or be grilled in our air fryer so i think the goat meat is ready so i'm going to just leave it for another two minutes because i love it very soft especially when i am roasting it i want it to be very soft so we're back to our jello fries coconut jello fries you can see wow the aroma is everywhere in the house it looks really 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 inviting and trust me it's actually really yummy as well delicious so i'm just still turning it to ensure that the water goes down the pot and allow it to keep cooking So I'm still going to use the foil to cover it and leave it to cook for another 10 minutes. Then I will definitely come back to check. I think it should be okay by then. So guys, if you have watched this video till now and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do not forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell for more delicious and quick recipes like this. Thank you. enjoy coconut jello fries since i started cooking it i have not really cooked them i can look at how it looks the color is really inviting so back to our goat meat so i've brought it out from the pot i'm just adding some vegetable oil or olive oil i'm actually using olive oil you can use vegetable oil and i'm going to arrange them in the air fryer and roast it no goat meat with skin is hot cake in this part of the world where we are so here is my air fryer covered in foil i'm just going to arrange them in it and see add the oil left on the plate inside the deep air fryer so I'm going to put it on roast and 
allow it to roast for at least 20 to 30 minutes then it's ready so quickly go back to our rice yeah yeah is our coconut jello of rice it's ready and we are good to go like it's really really inviting you have to try this all you need is just coconut milk to take this rice to another level and that was what i do you can see how it looks it's really really yummy like we did enjoy it and i have been making it all this while i'm still going to try another cook, um kind of jello fries on this channel so stay glued to my channel so guys we've actually really come to the end of this video and this is a bowl of a coconut jello rice and you can see how delicious it looks you can see how inviting it looks trust me if you I think did I finish this one bowl I think I did yes I did look at it very yummy very delicious which other word will I say this jello fries actually went to Harvard University so we actually come to the end of this video and yeah it's also served with a uh, grilled or roasted goat meat this goat meat man was something else I didn't even know when I ate everything so guys if you have watched this video till now and you haven't subscribed to my channel please do not forget to click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell to join my beautiful family thank you very much for watching thank you for watching till this time and trust me if you live anywhere close to me don't forget to stop by and enjoy this delicious meal with me so until we see in our next video you do take care of yourself and make sure you're staying safe if you try this recipe as well let me know either on my instagram or in the comment section send me pictures thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day ahead love you always bye bye